This problem says, you've just discovered a square field and you notice a warning sign. The sign states that there's a single bomb in the 2D grid-like field in front of you. Write a function, mine location, that accepts a 2D array and returns the location of the mine. The mine is represented as the integer 1 in the 2D array. Areas in the 2D array that are not the mine will be represented as zeros. The location return should be an array where the first element is the row index and the second element is the column index of the bomb location. Both should be zero based. All 2D arrays passed into your function will be square and there will only be one mine in the array. So the first thing that we need to do is look at the inputs and outputs. So our input is an array of arrays where the inner arrays contain zeros and one. So we could say array of arrays that contains zeros and one. And the output is supposed to be an array where the first element is the row index and the second element is the column index of the bomb location. And the second element is column index. Now we could take a look at what steps we want to take to solve this problem. We don't think about code just yet. We just want to think about the steps to get to the right solution. So the first thing that I want to do is knowing that I have a larger array that contains smaller arrays, I want to iterate over the larger array so that I can isolate just the first array and deal with that one. So once I have that first array, I need to check to see if it has one. So we iterate over the larger array and then check if the inner array contains one. And we keep doing this until we find it. So once we find the array that contains one, we need to add the index of that inner array within the larger array to the result array and then we need to return the index of the actual bomb location within that array. So now that I kind of have an idea of how I want to solve this step by step, I can start thinking about code. So the first thing I want to think about is the output. I know the output is supposed to be an array. So I'm going to initialize a result array to an empty array. And then I know that I want to iterate over the larger array. So I'm going to call it field. And then I think I want to iterate over the field using each so that I'm given a subarray. I'm going to call the subarray row. So once I have the row, for example, this first example, I'm going to have this array with one, zero, and zero. And if you look at the result, you'll see that the first element is zero. So that represents this first array since one is contained in this array. The second element is also zero. That makes sense because the first element of this inner array is one and the index for one is zero. The same thing with the second example. The second array contains the one. And since we're using zero based um, counting here, we know that the second element would be the first index. So that's where the one comes in. The second element is one also, because within that inner array, the integer one is in the one's place, or one index of that inner array. 
The same thing for the last one. Okay, so we're gonna iterate over the field using each and we're gonna be given a row. If the row contains one, we're gonna add to result the index of that array. So I'm going to use the method index on the field. So I'm going to use index on field and pass in the row. This will give me the index of that row since it contains one. And then once we have that in there, we're going to add the index of the actual DOM location. So this time I want to use a different method. I think I'm going to use find index. I can use find index on the row. And then we're going to pass in a block. The block is going to specify what we want to find. So I want to find an element that equals one. Once we have that, all we need to do is return the result array. So now that I have my algorithm fleshed out here, I can jump into the code and see if this works. So I need to define my method called mine location, and I'm going to pass in the array. The first step is initializing the result to an empty array. Then we're going to iterate over the array. I'm actually going to call it field like I how I have it written. So we're going to iterate over the field and pass in each row, which represents each inner array. And this is where the check comes in. If the row includes one, then to result, we're going to add the index of the row that contains one. Then, after that, we're going to find the index of where one is in that row. So find index takes a block, and we're going to specify that we want to find the element that is equal to one. And now that that's done, all we need to do is return result. And if I've done it correctly, it should return all trues for each test case. And that's just one way to solve this problem.